Good morning to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And what you see before you is a portable EMG, circa 1926. So, we're going to give it a test. The usual record for a minuet from Valencian. We're going to use the sandboxes that came with it, the Two Spring Expert, the um, Meltrope number 1, the Meltrope number 3, the Four Spring EMG, the Verts, and an early EMG, possibly EMG sandbox. Right, let's try the... I'll, I am using half-tone steel needles. I know they weren't... a lot of these sandboxes were designed for fibre, but you won't hear it. So, here we go. Right, that's the two spring expert. I'll have to put the brakes on because this is a wind up machine, viewers, and I'm going to have to wind up every time. Right, let's get that off of there. We will now use the um, Miltrope number one. A bit tricky with one hand, but we will manage, hopefully. Yes, there we go. Right. Here we go again, this is the mill trip number one. I haven't uh, rebuilt this sound box yet, so it may sound a little rough. Right, that wasn't too bad. You have a look at the uh, tone arm there, whilst I wind the hand. Oh dear, that's all right. Right, we'll try the vert sound box now. That's it. Right, here we go. Right. Yes, yeah, not not so great. Right, I'll put you back down again. Sorry about that, viewers. Right, that's the verts. We will then try the early mica diaphragm. Di oh, that won't fit. Sorry, viewers, can't try that one. Won't fit. Right, we'll try the Meltrope number three. Again. Right. This is the one I usually use with my expert machine. Here we go. That was jolly good, wasn't it? Right, I'll put you down again. You have a look at the back of the case. Uh, I'm just going to have a little slurp. No, I'm not. I'm not Keith Floyd, am I? Right, despite what people say. Right, four spring EMG sound box. Obviously didn't exist when this thing was made, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. Make sure. Yeah, it's wound up. You know, viewers, I, th I would imagine that any gramophonist buying one of these in the 20s would have been absolutely astonished. You've got to remember this is way before any of the big horn machines were invented, before Peter, uh, before um, Percy Wilson's um, panharmonic horn was created. This is before all of them, and EMG were not the company we know today. They were the company, you know, just another company trying to provide the very best available. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. And goodbye.